Yo, 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 what is going on, guys? It is Bartley here. Welcome back to GTA 5. I got another apartment to show you guys out of the new update. This one will be the stilt apartments. So, uh, between the stilt apartments and the suites, there really is only one main difference between them. Now, I know I haven't showed you guys them yet, but that's coming up in a few few days, and keep my, keep my word for it. So, there really is only one main difference between the stilt apartments and the suite, and that basically is other than, well, Basically, other than pricing, other than the price that they cost, there really is only one difference, and that is uh, that the stilt apartments have a downstairs, and the other ones have an upstairs. So this is the stilt apartment. As you can see, it does have a downstairs to it. We got basically the living rooms over here, kitchen back there, heist rooms over there in the top corner. Down here, down the stairs, is the living quarters, basically. We got the bed, wardrobes right there, and the bathroom. So that is the stilt apartment. Um, yeah, I'm just fucking with you guys. <laughs> it's a, it's not actually the stilt apartment. Um, it's actually the regular apartment at the uh, at the regular apartment buildings. It's actually the regular default apartments. Um, but um, uh, -da! did you like that magic trick? This is the real stilt apartment. So just like I said before. It is a downstairs, so that is the only difference between this and the uh, the suite. So keep that in mind. Now, uh, in case you're wondering why my buddy David is here, um, my financial issues have have come to my attention and faced me with the issue that I am so homelessly broke that I need to borrow my friends' homes to do my videos. Now, can you fucking believe that? Use my fucking friend's house to make a goddamn video. I got the tattooed Vanoss here with me, the guy who doesn't wear a red leather jacket. In fact, actually wears cargo shorts and a tank top 24/7. But nonetheless, he's the hick. He's the hick Vanoss, I guess. Uh, in other words, so this is the still apartment. We got the kitchen right here, and the main living room area shits over here. TV and everything. Now, uh, the shameful part about this is, which you'll see in the in the uh, suite when I do it. Uh, actually, this is kind of a little um, spoiler to you guys, but just like the suite, this is this balcony is all lies. It's all lies. It's lies. So yeah, that's kind of spoiled, you guys. But anyway, so this is the top floor. Now this one versus the uh, suite does seem a lot bigger because of the massive floors to it. Now the one thing I'm jealous about that this fucking owl boy has is this goddamn waterfall here. This is my shower when I come over here. This is my shower. So in here is the uh, is the bedroom in here. This is another fucking balcony filled with lies. Fucking bullshit. And now wardrobes right here and in here we got the bathroom. Now this is massive as shit and even he has a waterfall in here. It makes me jealous. So we got the shower and the little bathtub. So that is the bedroom. Let me out. <laughs> David you asshole. <laughs> so that's the bedroom and if we go down another floor this is the heist room down here and uh, this is where David's therapist comes to talk to him every Wednesday he sits in this chair they, they turn on this uh, clock radio right here and they, they t put on the ocean breeze David's therapist will come down here talk to him how, about his problems with being a um, human man with an owl head stuck stuck his body I heard recently he was I heard recently he was gonna go through some plastic surgery to get uh, some crow's feet and some feathers uh, built into his body because I think basically the, the, the thing is here he's an owl trapped in a man's body so we're, it's in the it's in the process so here we have the indoor pool JK it's not really a pool but yeah it's the little pond and this is the heist room so that is the that is the stilt apartment so now the one stupid part about this this shithole the one really stupid part about it compared to all the other apartments is that 
although there is a garage you cannot access it from the inside you do have to go outside to access the garage which is stupid because as you can see looking at the door I cannot access Dave's garage and in order to do that we would both have to exit and walk into it now I'm not even going to I'm not even gonna bother because I can't even get in there anyway unless he invites me in or something but yes it is a 10 car garage so keep that in mind it's 10 cars and you just have to walk out and go right into it so there you go and that is that so anyway I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope you found it helpful if you did please leave a like hit that subscribe button it really helps support me support the channel uh, leave a like for leave, leave an extra like for David's helping with the making of this video uh, If I didn't already say hit that subscribe button, I'll say it again. So hit it support me and the channel and I'll see you guys when I see you guys peace